All right, I'm going to argue uh, something a little different than anybody else has done. Um, a little loud. Is that better? Okay, there's my cursor. There we go. So it's you know to sum up what everybody else has said, it seems like at the end of the day, it's really about what your language can bring to the table and how you can break through the clutter of all this highly level, low level stuff and how you can really get a clear goal to empower students. This is the first programming language they're ever gonna learn. And so, you know, to keep up with the modern CS, you know, you wanna inspire them. And this is the era of a paradigm shift to the cloud. You have your responsive front ends with Ajax and your back ends with your, you know, bleeding edge data science stuff. And so to really keep people sustainable in the current culture, I think that this may be shocking. Um, a student's first language should be HTML. Wait, that's not a programming language. It, it is a programming language. And in fact, as a quick, <laughs> as a quick preface, uh, HTML and CSS3, HTML5 and CSS3 are actually Turing complete. You can look it up because I just did about 20 minutes ago. Um, so our goal, you know, really, like I said, is to inspire people. and. In inspiring people, you want to be able to show them something that they can show off. You want to be able to show them something on the screen. And so thinking about you know, what's easier than creating a website, you have Twitter Bootstrap, and this is actually relevant. Like, real people are paid a lot of money to make websites. And so in my buzzword-filled preface, I was actually trying to drive a point across, which is that we're moving to the web. And so, I mean, think, thinking about it for a sec, like, what did you used to find cool in computer science? Like when you were sitting in 125 and you typed system that I thought the line, hello world, was that, that was pretty cool, yeah? And so being able to then change that and say, system that I the print line, I don't know, hello mom. You know, you see it, you see the word change on the console, but like in, on the web, you, you see buttons appear and you see a layout appear and you see a functional site that can actually display information appear out of nowhere. And like thinking about how cool it was to do Hello World, how cool it was to hit the run button, like it, it actually makes a difference. And so, you know, some obvious extensions from this, we have things like CSS and JavaScript, and you know, even exposure to frameworks like jQuery. That makes you feel like a wizard. Like you get to make an element move around the page immediately versus like Java, you get to make a loop count from one to 10. And it, obviously it's relevant um, to learn those things. And in computer science, you do need C, and you do need the high level languages as well. But you know, the very first class, inspiring people with these kind of languages, I don't think it's a bad idea. And it does let you create an immediate change in the world. You know, you're probably not gonna change anybody's life with your system, not the print line, hello world. But making a website, being able to make a layout, being able to make something to show off to other people, I think makes a difference. The end. I, I heard the word language in that, and it's trying to complete. <laughs> also, it's the first language. I agree with you that our goal should be to inspire students and you know, empower them, uh, but um, I don't think it's necessarily HTML and CSS. I mean, that's why I asked you if you're talking about anyone that wants to start programming or CS students, um, because I know there are a lot of you could extend into JavaScript and CSS, well, but you could start with HTML. You have to use HTML5. It does have, like, if you use, like, the HTML1, you have Yes, yeah. well, that's, that's what it. browsers run now, so it's just HTML. Okay. Okay, I think class is over. Yeah. Think well, yeah, we can... But feel free to continue a lively debate about HTML. Yeah.